Pablo Escobar, the one-time narco king and most wanted man on the planet, was certainly a cold and calculating killer. But to his family, he was also a warm and loving man. I was, uh, I was willing to give my life for him. That's how deeply I, I love him. Considering the life he gave you, the life on the run, the threats to your life, the poverty eventually, is there a part of you that also hates him? No, there's no chance I could hate my, my father. Walking through the ruins of the Escobar family home is to go back to a time that is almost inconceivable for its riches and violence. Pablo Escobar was making ridiculous money, $420 million each week, by smuggling cocaine from the jungles of Colombia to the bright lights of Miami. It made him God here, all powerful and all giving, a charismatic modern day Robin Hood to the country's poorest, building soccer fields, churches, even an entire suburb to house the homeless. When you were enjoying the riches of your family, did that make you feel that your father's work, his criminal work, was okay? No, because I didn't know uh, exactly what he did, what he does. Uh, he was telling me, when I was seven years old, he told me after he killed the minister and when we went to Panama, he, he told me that he was a bandit. So a man who gives you love every day tells you he's a bandit, it's difficult to judge him. Did your father ever express any regret? And I don't think he expressed any regret at all. About anything? About anything. He thought he was doing the right thing. What do you think of your father's decision to try to enter politics? It's his worst decision in life. Because once he, he ran into politics, everyone uh, pay attention to him. It put the focus, the spotlight yes, on of you course. as a family and on him. He, if he didn't do that, I think he would, he would be alive. Juan was told by a journalist that his father was dead. His immediate response was to make this threat. In that moment, did you want to kill everyone? Yeah, in that moment, yes. The 10 first minutes, yes. And that's why 10 minutes uh, after that, I called the press and I tell that I will never do anything uh, to continue my father's steps. And that's the second threat, peace. And that's the only one that I've been uh, living every day since then. To save their lives, Juan Pablo and his family gave all they had to his father's enemies, left the country and changed their names. We changed our identities, it was the only way. When we changed our, our names, the next day we were free. He now lives in Argentina and is an architect who's designed a life of peace by seeking forgiveness from the families of his father's victims. He can't deny the hatred engendered by Pablo Escobar, but nor can he reject the love he feels for the man who will always be his father. You talk about the greatest prize being anonymity. Why have you given that up? No, I'm no longer hiding because I don't want to hide. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't do any harm to anybody. I'm not proud of his violence, but I am proud of his love for me, to me and to my mother and sister. And everybody's right if they want to love him because he made some things that make you love him and some things that make you hate him. That's my father.